Hi everyone, so welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss about the another challenge from this Cloud Observer series called It's Another Secret. So it's of around 50 points, correct? And as the challenge name says, ki you have just gained access to the role ERTZ and we need to find the access to It's Another Secret L. So it seems like uh, because in the last uh, challenge itself, we already got the access to this ERTZ role. If you have not seen the video, so you can go to that particular video and take a reference how was that we are able to get the access to this particular ERTZ role. Now in this challenge, what exactly we need to do? We have a user called CTF study user, correct? And we need to grab a flag for it's another secret. So correct. So let me just open my terminal. Yeah. So let's start with this particular uh, challenge. So what exactly we need to do first, we need to use the older role, correct. And to get the permission, you need to just execute the command called AWS IAM get role and just put the role name ERTZ and using the CloudFox Super profile. So once it is executed, you will get the details of this particular role. Then what we need to do is, yeah. So as you can see here, this particular user has the permission called set assume role correct so you just need to copy the arn from here and we need to execute the another command so let me just copy the command from here and let me just paste it here so yeah we just need to copy the arn from this particular thing this particular output just paste it here and then you need to run the command with your profile once you will execute the command uh, let's wait for the command to execute oh sorry access denied might be there was something is wrong so let's set the arn oh by mistake we have added the ctf study user arn but we need to add the arn of this particular role name directly let's copy it let's use the above command and just replace the arn from here with the actual values just execute it let's wait for it to execute and mm, yeah fine so it's executed and observe you will get the credential correct in encoded format so what exactly we need to do we need to store this particular credential in our aws i would say credential file so let me just quickly open the aws credential file here so you need to run this just like a you need to edit your credential file correct you can edit it from anywhere i'm just using like a subline here let me pull it from another screen put this screen so yeah so you need to add like the credential that we have generated using the blast command and just need to paste it here in the ERTZ so you just need to put like the AWS access key ID and then the secret key ID as well as like this particular session to call so once you added the command you need to execute the another command called AWS one second let me just check what is the actual command so yeah we need to use here like the get caller identity correct with uh, the profile that we have recently created called ERTZ. Oh, seems something wrong. Let me quickly check. AWS or a credit with hyphen profile ERTZ. Okay, seems we missed to add like the double hyphen in the profile. Let's add it. And let's execute it. Again, big issue. So, AWS IAM. Okay, fine. So, instead of IAM, you need to use here like the STS. So let's replace it with the STS, just execute it. Once you will execute it using your profile ERTZ, you will observe. Yeah, you will observe it will give you like the user ID, account and the ARN. It means the credential for the ERTZ, it's working as good enough, it's working fine. Correct. So right after this, what we need to do, we need to just check like what all the roles policies are attached to this particular ERTZ role. So for this, we need to just execute the command called AWS IAM list attached role policy with the role name ERTZ and using the profile called ERTZ. So it is showing you do not have the access to this particular list attached role policy. Let's try it with the another profile that we have using last time that is cloud foxable so once you will execute it you need to wait some more time and you got the result for list attached policies for that particular ertz role 
so you can see here are two policies that are attached oh sorry only one policies are attached that is it's another secret policy and we have the ar and s pad so let's execute the get policy version command correct to get the detail of this particular attached policy so you just need to put like the policy ar in here in the get policy version command and then we need to define like the version id and as well as the profile here so you need to just add like the version id called v1 and we need to execute it using like the cloud foxable profile so okay fine so once it is executed you will see it has the action set to ssm get parameter and the resource is set to cloud foxable flag and if so the secret it means there is a flag and this particular role has the permission to execute like the get parameter for the SSL. So then we need to just draft the command correct to capture the secret or we can say extract the secret from the SSL. So let me just quickly add it here. Yeah, so we need to just run the AWS SSM get parameter and oh sorry. Let's say the error. Okay, fine. So we just need to define like here the region. So that I missed to add it in the above command. So I'll just tell you the again the what should be the command here. So the command would be AWS SSM get parameter. We need to define like the parameter name here and the profile. And using that particular profile, you need to define in which particular region we need to call. So let me just put the add the region here called QS REST2 as per the documentation available in the description so yeah once it's executed you will see we have the particular value correct and this value is like the encoded format correct and what exactly we have passed we have passed the role name as well as the particular plot of c and the result so the value that we got is an encrypted format we need to execute the another command to get the values in clear text format so for that we just need to add like the particular switch so let me just use the above command here itself for this and we just need to add like the hyphen hyphen with the description and let's execute it hmm so it will take some time and yeah fine so once it is executed you will see under the values we have the flag in a clear text format so let's copy the flag from here and just open here window and just paste it in this particular it's seated box so yeah we can see that you are able to complete this challenge and it's pretty straightforward